Let's talk about the weather here. I'm remarkable to see what Mother Nature can do and how quickly it can all happen. Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy here with us now, Alana. Brian, your heart breaks when you yeah. see devastation like that throughout the Texas area. Tough year for severe weather. We've seen outbreaks of tornadoes throughout the Midwest and even on the East Coast. All right, a little closer to home, quieter conditions today, but that's going to change. An approaching storm system is going to mix things up heading into our weekend. I just love the glassy water here as you look from the Red Canyon Overlook at Flaming Gorge. That's just a stunning shot. Live view from Enzyme Peak, our ABC4 camera showing the clear conditions over the Salt Lake Valley. We're running on the cooler side, about 10 degrees below where we're supposed to be this time of year. Not a surprise following the cold fronts that move through. A few showers in the basin clearing in the last few hours. Quiet with some echoes of moisture right there on the state line, but overall, high pressure is wanting to take over. But we know those changes are brewing. As we take that live view from Cedar City, a little bit of cloud cover. 66 right now in Iron County. The southern half of the state will not see the moisture that we're going to see in the north, but this one's going to pack a punch. Temperatures in the 50s. As we sit at 56 in Salt Lake, a little cooler for the back side of the Wasatch. 50s and 60s on the eastern side of the state. 80s in St. George. So a temperature spread still in southern Utah. We're close to average in the north. Not so much. 50s turning to 40s with mostly clear skies on deck with that high pressure dominating our Saturday. You watch as it kind of moves in on our upper level here. This is going to allow for a warm and windy Saturday. Forewarning you now, gusty conditions and above average temperatures short lived. Here comes that low. It tracks in and it brings wet weather, valley rain, mountain snow to northern and central Utah. We leave the door open though with that northwest flow for a series of disturbances to follow, meaning unsettled conditions will hold on to next week. So that's the broad view, but let's get a little closer. We start with tomorrow when it comes to our wind alerts, wind advisory and a high wind warning for Juab and Millard counties, the western end there. This goes into effect at 3 p.m. and holds through noon Sunday. Gusty southwesterly winds blowing dust possible and that will crank temperatures. You're looking at a high wind watch for the eastern side of the state. This includes Castle Country, the swell all the way to the four corners over Lake Powell. We know those winds will really take cold Sunday morning into the evening. That high wind watch will likely be upgraded to either advisories or warnings. So windy conditions throughout the Beehive State ahead of the wet weather. Future cast shows us that wet weather. Here we go. Saturday before noon, southerly winds noticeable there with our arrows kind of coming through. Cold front tracks our way, warm front ahead of it by the evening, meaning some prefrontal light precipitation could pop up later on, increasing cloud cover and a few showers. Also, we're going to feel very mild. But then we head into the overnight and the cold front tracks through. It's going to pack a punch. It brings valley rain and mountain snow, but those snow levels will fall. We put this into motion. We get a little closer here. You're going to wake up to soggy conditions along the Wasatch front on Sunday with heavier precip from Cache Valley into the Ogden Valley all the way down to the Tooele and Rush Valleys. The Western Uint is getting snow, so will the Wasatch and spottier activity towards Duchesne County and Utah County. We hold on to that moisture Sunday night into Monday morning. Here's a look at the next three days. Models loving that wet weather for the Wasatch front upwards of an inch in the next three days. So that'll tell you the valley rain potential is healthy. Our mountains, we're talking snow. Here we are in May with a winter storm warning going into effect at 6 a.m. Sunday for the Wasatch Mountains and the Western Uintas. Winter travel conditions expected. Snow on the grassy areas possible for our valleys. In May, Futurecast snow shows that snow filling in. You look at the spread here, one to two feet for the cottonwoods. That's a ton of May snow. This spring storm is late, six to 12 inches for our other mountains, and we could see zero to two inches for our valleys. Mountain valleys could get up to four. I'm looking at you, Wasatch back. Regional forecast for tomorrow. I bought the farm and I go low 80s. Southwesterly winds can crank and we could get there at the airport. 70s and 80s on the eastern side of the state could be closer to 80. I just went warm. 87 in St. George, the upslope cooling them a little bit. As we look at the next seven days, just the slight chance for maybe a sprinkle in Washington County. But look at those temperatures dipping into the 70s. Active skies for the Wasatch Front. We get ready to roll on the spring roller coaster here. We get widespread wet weather Sunday, Monday. Monday, Tuesday, then again Thursday. Do you like the 50s, friends? Because that's what we're serving up, with the exception of tomorrow. But it is going to be a triple pump hairspray day. Oh, boy. Telling you that. We now. know what that means. I know. For sure. <laughs>